Hey guys, today I want to talk about snaps and what they are, how you can get rid of it, and why it was part of the reason why I decided to ditch Ubuntu. So snaps, what are they? They're applications that you can download. They run completely separate from apt or the package manager and think of them as little containers. They're applications that run in a sandbox and they contain everything that that app needs to run. Its dependencies and libraries are all in that snap. So this is good for some reasons. It does have its pros. So pros, first of all, security. Everything will run inside the snap, inside its little box. It can't access anything outside. So think about it as a virtual machine. So right now you're looking at a virtual machine, this Ubuntu, because I'm actually still using Manjaro. So think of it as a virtual machine. You're running it inside this little box. It can't access anything outside unless there's a mechanism in place specifically to access it. Like as if you're running um, a text editor and you want to open a file. Obviously it has to be able to access the file outside. So the file open can go out, grab a file, open it, save it, etc. But it's in a box. It's in this little sandbox. It has everything it needs to run within its little box, just like a virtual machine. So other things, uh, they always have the right dependencies and the right versions of dependencies. Cause you know, some programs you go to run it uh, and it, it won't run because it requires a very specific version. Even if you have a newer version of that dependency, it won't install. So this is good because it has the right dependency. They're also not dependent on the system that they run on. It could be any system, it doesn't matter, it, it'll run on it. So this is, this is good for servers, this is good for security concerns, like major security concerns and small occasional lapse. Uh, my opinion, why they're bad. I don't think they're good for desktop users. And on Ubuntu, this version I just installed on this virtual machine and it is a minimal installation. So you have the two options, if you've ever installed it of the full blown and the minimal which gives you basic utilities and a web browser. That's it. However, it still installs Snap. Now, when I installed Ubuntu, I didn't ask to install Snap. There's no option to say you don't want Snap. So I didn't like that. And part of that reason also is some of these apps are Snaps, the ones that are installed by default. So like the system monitor, this is a Snap. Why can't it just be installed? So that was part of my issue. They're kind of forcing their hand to go towards Snap, but for desktop users, which I don't like. Um, also, no shared libraries or dependencies. While this is normally a good thing, on a regular system, you only need to update one library or one package. If a shared or sorry if a library or dependency within a snap has a vulnerability or an error is found in one of the libraries that a snap uses they all individually must be updated in every snap in every little box that is running on your system instead of one library or one package that is a dependency for many applications being installed one time quickly all right which brings me to the next point is the duplication of libraries and dependencies. So there was some things that I read about deduplication and certain efforts that were underway, but it never really got anywhere as far as I could read. Now I've never built a snap, I've never worked on a snap, but if you have, the reason why you have libraries and dependencies that are shared among, amongst multiple programs that you use is so that every program that you have may use, uh, I don't know, let's say a JPEG library. So it's only in your computer in one spot and they all can use it, right? It's shared. In snaps, every snap will have that, could potentially have that same library. So there's kind of a bit of a duplication there. Um, if this has been done, is it, is it, I'd like to know if somebody is, watching this and is yelling at their monitor right now saying, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you know, please explain in the comments, is it 
something that's just a standard or is it forced onto the developer? Is it done in the background automatically or is that just how it's intended to work and it's up to the developer to do it or not? Another thing, which is a bad side, snaps open very slowly. So open up your calculator, for example. I've already opened it, so it might open quickly and make me look like an idiot, but when you go to open it, it takes a long time to open considering it is a calculator. Now I've already opened some, I already opened this, like if I opened it before, it's fun. Maybe on an SSD you won't notice either. On a mechanical drive, you might click calculator and be like waiting several seconds like I have before. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I go to click it again and then it opens for just this. And even with this, sometimes this takes ages to open. It's just, it's slow, it's not very fast. Also, because snaps are in their own little container, I believe Ubuntu has done a cheat for the theming. So these two, which are snaps installed by default, have themes already with them. That's why they look like everything else, right? They look normal. Now, if you go and do like many users do, like myself, go download a different theme. See, I can go, let's say, Radiance, the light colored. Yeah, that changes too. Cool, because that's included with Ubuntu. Now I downloaded Matcha because that's what I like to use. And oh, they don't have Matcha within their snap, within their little box that they run in. They don't have Matcha. Matcha is outside of the snap and these snaps can't access it. So they default to the Adwaita theme. So that's really nice when you're theming and you have everything looking good and then you have these snap applications that totally don't match anything else. So another downside there. So anyways, on to removing them. Let me just open up a terminal. First of all, what you're going to do, you just make the screen large. What you're going to do first of all, is you have to check to see what you have for snaps already. So you just do, snap list. So as you can see here, the calculator, GNOME characters, GNOME logs, and GNOME system monitor are all snaps that are installed on your system. So what you're going to want to do is take a note, mental note, take a screenshot, do whatever you have to do to figure out what you have installed already that is snaps. If it's a brand new installation, this is all you're gonna have. If you've been using it for a while, maybe you installed Blender and you realized afterwards that it was actually a snap, you're gonna have to reinstall it using apt-get, or it's just apt now, but you know what I mean. So take your note, remember what you have, or just make sure you keep this open, and you're just going to sudo apt purge snap d, enter in your password, and it's going to remove a whole bunch of stuff. Just wait, and then we can also do, wait, See, now it's emptying out the cache. You can see the shortcuts for the calculator and the system tray disappeared. And you can just, for good measure, auto remove. All right, everything's clean. So now you can see that the calculator is gone. System monitor is gone because they were snaps. They weren't installed as packages. So now you just do your sudo app install GNOME calculator, calculator, GNOME system, monitor, GNOME logs. What else is there? Hopefully it's still there. GNOME characters. Not something I would ever use, but for the purpose of the video, just so I can go through the motions and you guys can see that it will reinstall and because I had them here as shortcuts to begin with, I do believe they show back up again. Because the shortcuts never really go away. Could be wrong. I'm wrong. All right, they showed up before. But anyways, if you look in here, calculator, it's back. And look at that, it's themed. It themed right away. 
What else? System monitor. Oh, look at that. It themed because it's an actual package that can read the system like normal. I'm not I'm not saying snaps are a bad idea. I'm saying that they're a bad idea for the average desktop user. Maybe you want to run your Firefox as a snap because it runs within the sandbox. That's fine. Do that if you want. But the fact that when you install Ubuntu, it is installed by default kind of ticked me off and I could just see I could just see in my head the 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 wheels were just rolling and I was like they're gonna make everything snaps so the conspiracy things in my head were just going and I was like nope I don't want this uh, I'm get stepping away from this uh, another good alternative is install pop os i did a review on pop os put the link up here check it out it's awesome it's really good looking it's a really awesome implementation of gnome saying that i'm using kde now which i'm still liking but uh pop os is awesome and it does not use snaps when you install it there's no snaps installed and actually snap snapper is not even installed at all so if you want something ubuntu based you like ubuntu Go with Pop OS. It's pretty sweet. So that's what I got for now. So I just want to say a special thanks to my awesome patrons, Carl Schneider, George Mares, Matt Hartley, Kit Waltz, and Says. Thank you guys. You helped me make this channel possible. You guys are essentially my producers for this, and I can't thank you enough. So hopefully I keep the videos rolling, keep everyone happy. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you can also swing on over to my Patreon and become one of my patrons to help me push this content out to the community. And as always, you can also follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.Slash. Till next time guys, bash on.